In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your project inside of Reality Capture using a component workflow. This method works by grouping images and by performing incremental alignment in steps. While it is possible to align thousands of images all at once, there are several advantages to using the component workflow. Each alignment is performed quickly, making it possible to identify and troubleshoot potential problems faster. You can export individual components and use them to quickly select images in the 3D view. Before getting started into the software, let's talk about organization. For this project, we use the Nikon D810 with a 24mm lens, a Faro S350 scanner, and a DJI Phantom 4 Pro as our primary gear. When we set out to execute a scan of a large site or a building using a variety of camera types, it is extremely important to keep the data well organized on your computer. We commonly name individual files according to device and image type, so they can easily be identified inside of Reality Capture and during any other stage of production. The files are renamed and organized as shown in this naming convention sheet. Aerial images are divided into three types, grids, rings, and orthos. Aerial grid photos are collected using an automated flight path Aerial ring photos are taken using the point of interest feature or by manually flying around your target in a circular fashion. Aerial ortho images are flown manually up and down the sides of a building. Terrestrial photogrammetry is commonly divided between interior and exterior images. Further grouping is usually required to keep large data sets well organized and to properly set up the component workflow in our scene. The desired goal for each group is to align quickly and precisely by itself. When shooting, close loops around your target building whenever possible and name images according to each loop. For large buildings and close-up scans, consider grouping images according to location or feature. In this example, PEX-02 images all belong to the west exterior wall of the building. Consider grouping images according to lighting and isolate images that may not align well with the rest. Changing lighting conditions and inconsistent picture quality can affect the results of your photogrammetry project. Every time I start a new project, I like to clear cache and make sure the designated drive has plenty of free space. It is not recommended to move your images to a different drive once the process is started. Choose your preferred UI layout and remember that you can access the help section of the app at any time by holding this drop down menu. You will find answers to most common questions here. When ready to start, go ahead and select your first set of images. You can drag and drop images directly into the RC viewport. Once the images are loaded, go ahead and press Align. If nothing happens, check your alignment settings to ensure Merge Components Only is set to False. Align again. You can see how PEX01 images were shot as a continuous loop and how they all align successfully into one component. You can rename the component in the 1D view to keep the file organized. Before adding the next group of photos in the scene, let's disable all the images that make up the first component. Use the Select All command or Lasso tool in the Selection tab to select everything visible in the viewport. Disable all the selected images by using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl R. RC will now ignore these images for as long as we keep them disabled, but they will still exist inside of the project. Let's now drag the next set of photos into the scene and align again. I will repeat this process and disable all images every time until all exterior images are added to the scene. A 
At this point, I have a series of components in my scene. We can try merging some of these components together. To do so, let's enable back all the images in the file. Go into the Inputs node, select all the images, press Ctrl R twice, align again. We have successfully aligned all exterior images into a single component. Export the newly aligned component using the registration button in the Export tab. Save the file as a Reality Capture Alignment Component, or .rc align. You can drag and drop the component back in the scene to see it. Imported components will be marked with a star symbol in the 1D view. Take advantage of small components to quickly select images inside of a large component using the camera lasso in the 3D view. Export all components and continue with the next set of images. Saving the RC project is not required as all the alignment data is stored inside of each component file. I will proceed by creating an aerial master, an exterior master, and an interior master components 